Okay, folks, we've got the Bumblebee mask here, and I'm going to show you how to transform this into the Bumblebee form and back again into the mask afterwards. I did actually see a video, an influencer video, and the lady said that this was super easy to transform. Well, yeah, I don't think it is. So I'm going to be giving you a realistic look at the transformation today. Some of the clips are so tight and so tough to undo, you really feel like you're going to snap something or break something here. But let's have a look at it together. So we're going to start just by popping the head out, which is at the back. Okay, that just lifts up. That bit is easy. We're going to disconnect the arms of the body from the rest of the body here. And yeah, this is where we first need to start unclipping things. So just make sure that these straps out the way. You can see the hand there. You're going to basically disconnect that bit and it is clipped in quite tight. So you will hear it come apart there and do the same on the other side. And this is difficult to show, but there are two clips on each side here. So there is a clip just there, which I've disconnected. But there is also a clip right around there. Okay. So on both sides of the mask, that will also need to be disconnected. There we go. Don't worry if the leg comes off as it just did for me. It just uses a ball joint. So we'll pop that back on there. But with the arms disconnected, we can now just move those into place. They are ratcheted. We can also fold those sections in two. Make sure the head's properly out. And now we're going to work on the legs, which are a little bit of a nuisance, if I'm honest with you, again. But after a little bit of practice, you do sort of get used to it. So what we want to do to start with is get this whole body section lifted to behind the actual figure. So if I just turn that around there and try and keep the elasticated bands on the inside so that they're going to be out of the way. And then we're just going to fold this section up and that just connects onto the back of Bumblebee. And then these back flaps sort of just rest in place like that. So now all we've got left to do are the legs themselves. So we'll fold those down. I do find again that they tend to disconnect a little bit, but that's no problem. Um, it will look like the feet are backwards to start with, but what we want to do is turn the leg to the front or the, or the bottom part of the leg to the front like that. And then the feet can move into position. And that is pretty much the transformation complete. Now, Bumblebee will be able to stand up by himself in this form as long as you position things correctly. There's a little bit of ratcheting as well in some of the joints here, um, but there's not a whole lot of movement possible in this form. Uh, but that's how you transform him. So we're going to transform him now back into the mask. So you may remember that the legs were just over this position here. And just again, make sure that the feet are positioned facing backwards like that. Uh, we can just bend that back into position. Okay, and then we're going to take the whole of the bottom part of the mask, lift that back down again from here. So we're going to unclick that. And then down here at the base, that won't actually snap in the middle there. It just sort of fits together. But then these do snap in. And as you can see, there are uh, one, two snapping points. So they go into the legs just like that. Okay, and the same on this side. I've got him. And then we'll just try and put all this nice and neat. Tell it. And so with the arms, you can see we have the joint just there. That is going to slot into the joint there next to the foot. So. You do have to sort of shimmy this about a bit if we bend that down and just sort of bend that. It doesn't like to go naturally, I find, but it does go. Just make sure that this strap is on the outside now as well. And then also over here, we're going to bend this arm. I don't like bending it, but as I say, it's really the only way of doing this until it just slots into that. And don't forget on both of the arms, you do have that second connection as well. So it's important that you do make that. Uh, obviously we just need to pop the head back in and then uh, what else we've got left to do here? Oh yeah, the front bit, these are quite simple. They can snap back in to place without too much trouble. And we are done. The toy is back in its original form now. So yeah, as I've said a couple of times, it is quite finicky. 
And to, at least to start with younger children, they are going to need quite a bit of help with this. I would imagine that some of it does loosen up over time. Um, but how long it's going to last without some of these bits actually breaking off, I'm not too sure. So just be aware of that. But hopefully the instructions have helped here. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time.